bachelorette here on City. Joel, known as JoJo, in the driver's seat. There you go. Okay, in the driver's seat, and this is the opportunity for her to meet the contestants. Here's James Taylor, and his shtick was the guitar. You know, everybody has to have a shtick, and uh, you pointed at this earlier. She had a shtick when she came on the show with the unicorn head. So these guys are playing off of what they think she wants to see. Is it too corny to have a, uh, a gimmick? It's I don't know. all corny. It's all corny. But really, you know, you do want to stand out, and you want to create that talking point, I think, because when you're a room full of guys, uh, you you know, if you're not standing out, you're not getting attention, you might not get a rose. We have the Scottish, uh, well, the kilt from a Scottish uh, man who said he was half Chinese, half Scottish. And then St. Nick, this was maybe the biggest gimmick uh, in the history of Bachelorette, don't you think? Yeah, I don't know about this. Uh, St. Nick and the mustache puns. How about this? Actually, you know what? Not to give anything away, but to give it to give it away. That's one of my picks. That's one of your picks. Yeah, I, I like him. I mentioned it again. One of the gimmicks which I thought was off the hook, which was pretty good. And he's one of my picks. Here comes a guy named Wells. He rolls up in the limo and he has a musical surprise for JoJo. So, like, music is a huge part of my life. Oh, he brought some people. I feel like the best way to tell someone how you feel about them is through music. I'm going out as an acapella group? JoJo, <laughs> I give you all for one. I swear. Oh my God! This is good. I'll be I swear. It could be their wedding song. What, and what kind of strings do you pull Points. to get off for one? He's a radio disc jockey as well, Wells is. So maybe he had some ins with a record label, but I'm thinking he paid some bucks to have these guys stroll in with him from the limo. Big points. And or he, maybe Chris Harrison shelled it out. And he, uh, <laughs> seriously, and he also looks a lot like Ben. Don't you think the Wells looks most like Ben? Yeah. Kind of a Bublé-ish Ben type. Yeah, yeah. Ben. He's got that clean cut he going really for him. Uh, you know, not so clean. Uh, there's a couple Canadians in the bunch. One was uh, goes by the name of Daniel, and uh, she went on about how more and more these guys were nervous and maybe having too many drinks. You know, you want to represent if you're Canadian. Yes, you do. And Danielle, re uh, Danielle, as I'm calling. <laughs> Daniel represented, uh, but maybe had a little bit too much of the sauce, and as a result, he decided that he'd be better off getting uh, uh, JoJo's attention without clothes on and maybe taking a leap in the pool. Let's just get, let's get naked. No. Anyone who could look good in a suit, right? Let's see what you look like with nothing on, right? You should be swimming. Hey, you should not be swimming. That is not safe. Some of these guys uh, were just uh, just pounding back the drinks. Well, you think about, okay, and how hard you work to get on a show like this. He's obviously been hitting the gym, and he's... This is the obligatory guy takes off his shirt and jumps in the pool scene. Uh, it's almost, it happens every season. It seems to be. And, and you know what? That'll hurt his chances, right? He won't get a rose in the end. Well... He did get a rose. I know. Daniel Can't did get a grab. rose, and some people were upset. I usually like to cheer for the Canadians. I know. It's, it's good to see it. Well, maybe he'll turn it around. Uh, worth noting that Jake Pavelka showed up, right, from previous yeah. bachelors. He shows up, and you're like, ooh, is he looking for love? Turns out that he's a family friend of JoJo's. Remember Jake and Vienna? Crazy. We have to. We have to. <laughs> it's a but good season. Even they throw Jake into the mix. Have to get to our picks. Yep. It was tough, and I've got Who've my got? four here. I have Luke, okay? Yes. I have Luke. I have Jordan. Check. I have Wells, okay. and I have Robbie. Robbie's kind of one of these guys that I think that she thought he was cute. Uh, but for sure, Wells with the DJ, he did very well. You've got to go with Jordan because he got the first impression rose. Brother of quarterback Aaron Rodgers, he's a smooth operator. Those are my four. I think his chances are pretty good. I also selected Jordan and Andy, and uh, along with Chase, Luke, and uh -huh. Robbie. Those okay. are my four. Jordan, Chase, Luke, and Robbie. They, if you look at them like this, they all kind of look identical. Oh yeah, yeah. Chad, I don't have Chase. I can see what you're saying, though. Chase is one of my, you know, and maybe, and Chad could be in there. Chad group. could be in there. Alex, the Marine, who was like, yeah. You would think that he one of my wild card picks. You'd give me a hard time for him, but he seems very sincere. You usually like a, like a personal trainer type. I don't know what it is. No, he's a Marine. He's not a personal trainer. Right, but he's very fit. But I think that he's also like. He was a very, uh, he was a gentleman to her. Okay, so we'll have to see how this all shakes down and that The Bachelor airs on Monday and Andy and I will be duking it out every Tuesday morning. We'll put our picks online. Just put so our picks online.